Hello, welcome to our episode of Marvel's Midnight Suns, a tactical card strategy game, and now let's head into our episode. About time. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly, yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is. Not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. Ooh! Fun! the portal to limbo how low can you go you are standing in limbo nexus of all realities both real or otherwise a chaotic but secret realm beyond the influence of lilith thus far are you certain of that because i am sensing all kinds of dark energy that feeling you're being watched. General Hellho vibe? Yes. All these potentialities converging at once? A truly surprising feat, Miss Rasputin. For someone so young, of course. Oh! Different version of me. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet, and beyond. Ooh. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. <laughs> Couldn't be worse than the last time. It was just a simple miscommunication. Ocean Avenue. I said Ocean Avenue, Magic. I'm guessing they ended up in the ocean then? At least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I was gonna say, for I how long? We hurry. That's not good. Arm Alpha in position. Not your average Hydra dude. I, I, I do love those introductions. Through. Welcome to New York. All right. I hesitate to call this good news, but I'm seeing right. minimal Hydra resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. 
We have three of them focused on... Hero cards in your hand. And he'll play to discard it. It's actually pretty good. Hmm. Oh! On KO, we fund a card play. Attacks with the keyword quick will refund the card play when used to KO an enemy. All damaging hero abilities have a chance to become critical when they are drawn. Critical abilities deal increase damage. The chance for an ability to be critical is determined by a hero's critical chance stat. The bonus damage dealt by a critical ability is determined by a hero's critical damage stat. So this is quick. So now we get a card refund. Not quick, but knockback. I'm going to redraw this one. Alright, these are chains. Oh boy. Oh, hold on. I have three card plays. They're all targeting someone different. Ooh. Let's do this. Right? Impressive. Oh, I didn't see Oh, I didn't see the well, that still gives us a chain. Into him. Time to Right? Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh, it takes two! Plus a slash? I think the slash is only gonna do five, though. Hmm. This is knocked back into anything. Targeting blade. I do have another redraw. I gotta heal. All right. Let's kill him. Uh oh. Cancel, cancel. No. If I move here. Yep. There we go. And we'll, we'll spread out the damage. I think you got him. That was really something. Really? Do we go for you know what? We'll have each of them take 5 damage. I'm okay with that. Taking the shot. That's not supposed to hurt. Oh, I don't know what slow does. I'll be uh oh. The They're not doing five damage. They're doing eleven. Reinforcements on approach. Mm. That could be a problem. That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Okay, so let gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. Quick slash him. Weak, even for Hydra. So that gives us that. God, I'm not getting a lot of quick slashes.
That'll kill the two of them. Level up, yeah. Not sure what that does. Got one card play left. Or do I have two? I have two card plays left. Oh, interesting. But this will use all four. If that's that is hmm. I heal Doctor Strange. That should leave a card play. Walk in the light. Greatly appreciate. Oh, it maxes out at thirty. Now he's weak. I am glad to have your magic on our side, Doctor. Now I'm out of card plays. One more heroes in game. I don't care about them. If we have Blade. Move here. Yes, he can pick this into him, and that just leaves the dude with the gun. And I'm okay with that. Get out of there! No, that wasn't very nice. You do not know who I am, do you? Wanda is calling out to me. I feel her struggle. I need to concentrate. Well, I mean, uh, all we have left is quick strike. Oh, he's got a gun. How cute. That's the spirit. And done. Guided as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter, not Lilin. You were saying? The lifeblood of the Mother pumps through our veins. The Mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. Wanna bet? Wanna bet? That can't be good. Now what? Oh, that's even what? worse. Wards, weakening. Cannot let them fail. Oh, this is bad. Association is not going to like this. No. I'll handle it. <laughs> not. We do not fear your magic, little wizard. We have answered the mother's call. We are venom to all. And you are We are Venom in your life. Lethal Protector! I always like Venom. Alright. Fallen. Defeat Fallen Venom to complete the mission. Fallen Venom symbiote binds can be broken by attacking them with your abilities. 
powerful enemies like Fallen Venom do not forecast which hero they intend to attack. They may attack multiple times in their turn. Well, that certainly escalated Watch quickly. Do out. I even want to know what that beast is? Hmm. It calls itself Venom. Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider wizard. I have well, two redraws, huh? Juices. Let's redraw this. With his and redraw this. What? Wow. Oh. I mean, I honestly don't have a choice. Let's keep it going. That's one hell of a move. Cool. Was that quick? That's new. All I have is all right. Oh. Whip him into them. Chance. We're gonna lose a card, but we're okay with that. You were too weak for this fight. Confirm. This the light shines cool. on the most dutiful. I think you're gonna wait on that. We can knock him off? What happens if we knock him off? Oh, okay. It was saying I couldn't knock him off. Alright, I'll, I'll, I, I need that heroic, so I'm not gonna complain. Really? Going after Blade? Oh, a binding. So now I can't use Blade unless someone attacks. Well, that's not fair! You're not allowed to use environmental attack. They're not quite ready to give up just yet. A hero is bound and unable to act. Use other yep, 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 yep. Okay, we do have a quick. So we're actually gonna use the quick on this. Does it trigger the card refund? Slowly savor your yes. brains. Wow. Are the rest of this your is quick. so chatty? Nope. Thankfully, no. Hmm. What if? Oh, when we have a quick strike. Oh. No. Oh, interesting. All right, I was gonna try to use make him bleed. I have four card plays, so let's use this. Do I look a bit younger to you? Okay, so it's not... Alright, so here's... What I'm thinking. Doctor Strange goes... Over here. Even the mother of and then use the to rely upon hired hands occasionally. On him. Oh, he's gotta back up. That's interesting. I'm not sure you want... Me that one. But we get the card play back. So we're losing the knock back. Hold on. How does this do? The next two. Alright, so I think this means blade specifically. So, this is overkill. But I, I don't think it matters. I'm just limiting the damage. Your mother then we can play Make Him Bleed. 
Time's up these jumps. If we quick attack him. Hey, Feeling level up. I don't know what that does for us. Plus five health, plus two our offense. Ooh. We will crack your tiny bow. Okay. What play? Well, he did apply the bleed, so I guess that makes sense. He really doesn't like Blade. Uh, Blade? We haven't quite broken their spirit. Where did you go, Blade? Okay. We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might Got three plays until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be the lead is kind of useless. I shall fill your belly with my blade, demon. No. Okay, so we can at least Hello, poke him. Trick. Hmm. I have Take him. Oh, oh, bug. We found a bug. He's got symbiote skin. Melee attacks against Fallen Venom can trigger his join us passive and activate Symbiote Skin. When Symbiote Skin is active, Fallen Venom will bind the next hero that melee attacks him. So we're avoiding melee attacks. So if we use this... Again, don't know where Blade screwed off to. Alright, good. We do get that back. He hasn't moved yet. Now we only have one play left, but if he goes here, Where are you going? we can then the Wind of Agamotto power with just a into Venom. Fascism. Hydra will never change. Will that get rid of the skin thing? This is no trifling matter. Yes. Cool. And then... Fake again. Again, don't know where Blade is. Uh -oh. But he is up to 60, so if he targets Blade again, we're good. I have no more card plays. Um, I didn't realize the Hunter was so far down. I was hoping for... A heal. Oh. Alright, I think we end the turn. Soon we eat. Poor, poor... Wait, oh, okay, so now... Definitely going after Doctor Strange. Now we do have some quick strikes. Oh, disgusting. Oh, oh Blade's back. Welcome back. But we healed him up, so he should have. He was at sixty. Now he's at eighteen less. And he's wow. Blesses us with power. All right, hold on. Blesses us with strength. We protect the mother and the Quick strike him. with your mate. And to think Lilith was a vegetarian. Really? Yeah, sure, why not? Card play refunded. This is a chain. Oh, okay. Hmm. Can we do at least 13 damage? Yes, easily. Oh, there's two of them. 
son of a bitch. Let's use a card play. Uh oh. I'll take a two for one. Feel my call. Great. Now again, can we do thirteen damage? Uh, nah, even if we move that, he's not gonna be in range. So this is... Alright, so there's... Card play one. Confirmed. This should aid me in my fight. There's knockback. And I think even if we don't... <laughs> Kill him. And that should be a ranged attack? Overkill. Beautiful. Good riddance. Oh cool, that counted as a card play refund. No escape from me, demon. I wonder how quick the combat is. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. <laughs> Spider-Man! Seems like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <laughs> Spider-Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but... Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the pearl from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! So, no Mile Morales in this world, I'm guessing? <laughs> Finished in seven turns. Cool. I don't know what gloss is used for. Sanctum Sibiotum. And we got a common gamma coil. Again, don't know what that is used for. Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The lips aren't moving. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Uh, of course. I see it now. The look! Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... The, the Sanctum? Or Wanda. She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. Are we okay with that or not?
We'll talk more later. Get some rest. Because it seemed like when we start, we were cool with the fact we've been raised as like, ooh, plus two friendship XP. As like, you know, kill our own mom for the better of the world thing. And now I'm getting maybe not so much kind of vibe. Now let's go talk to Tony. Boy, this these controls are awkward. Now that things have settled down, you should get okay. some rest. It won't always be this quiet. I mean, there's chitter chatter, but I guess the important things will pop up. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing what 70, 80 pounds of chainmail. On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid six out of ten. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. Ooh, think you could have done better. It is doubtful you could have done better. If you could, you would not have raised me from the dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go all rabid zombie demon on me. It was just a little constructive criticism. You did a commendable job, considering you were, you know, reborn yesterday. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. <gasps> Mephisto! Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. Quill? What quill? Or thanks for the gift. I'll say thanks for the gift. Thanks for the gift, Tony. I think you'll like it. It's a limited edition. A limited edition what? Oh, you'll see. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Hey, new hero vivo. Open present. Um... Really haven't read a lot of comics. I'm trying to think. I've read the original run of Ninja Turtles. I think the second omnibus. They're ultra violent. I've read Kingdom Come. I've read Red Sun. I've read The Sandman. I'm not sure if that counts as a comic. It might count as a graphic novel. I apologize. Uh, read some Spider Man. Read some Venom. Read some X Men. Never read any uh, Iron Man comics. Is he? Is he really that freaked out by magic in the comics? Let me know in the comments. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. All right, super linked is your connection to the rest of your team. Social network just for super. Why? Why is he like and makes calls for? Didn't he, he design it? Anyways, updates other heroes in the Abbey first post. Huh. First we make Wanda leave. Now we leave her to die. Some heroes. Oh, okay. So this is like to get more. 
fat brown. So now we've added a high Iron Man. It okay, no, that's French. So there's French. No, Iron Man starts level three. I don't know whether to okay, one of 15, two of 15. Okay, now I know he can't romance anyone, so I feel like uh, the way I'll probably be playing is trying to keep everyone around the same level. Okay, so there's gotta be... If they've all got basic same stats, there's gotta be some way to... Specialize them? Sort of thing? Anyways. Uh, journal... Let's do the journal first. Uh, Sarah... April 3rd, 3rd 1703. <coughs> Aunt Sarah wants me to practice my letters, so here I am. And every time I dip this pen in ink, I just want more and more to go out beyond the yard into my secret spots. I left my dolls scattered about before the storm and I'm afraid they're hurt. Do dolls hold grudges? Agatha says they don't, but I still feel sad for them. Aww. I wonder if that's the same if you're a god. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Okay. So there's collectible. We were all so happy then. Which one's Lilith? Oh, look at that now. Agatha and Sarah. Never mind. And now the closet. There never was enough room for my armor in this thing. Gloss earned permission to be spent to unlock new cosmetic options for the hunter and heroes, including outfits to wear around the abbey. Select and purchase a new Abbey outfit for the hunter now. Uh, hmm. I don't like that this is white on white. Why is this a hundred? Oh. Alright, this is cheaper. So for now, because I don't know how much of this I'll be getting... We'll get this one for now. Go to sleep. Can we leave and... Nope. Gotta go to sleep. Okay. From the book. Ah, <gasps> Dongo! Charlie! Charlie! I know, I know. I, I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. First lesson you ever taught me. Dodge! And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. 
Not until we pet the doggy. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Mm -hmm. I think something happened to Agatha. Go to the forge. A new post was added to Super. Um, let's see. All right, swooping in. Save the day. Astounding Spider-Man. What is this? Unleash monster upon city. Garish Bleacher Street Manor sealed off by authorities. When oh, this is all right. This is J. Jonah Jameson. Cute. Um, the doggy. Oh, R. Good girl, Charlie. Yes. Oh. Oh, can we do it again? Like, is there a max? Like, if I do it again, do we get more stuff? Is this, is this how we farm gloss and other things? No, I'll still do it one more time. Who's a good girl? It is my Charlie. Charlie. Okay. Woof, woof. All right. So the. Next thing I know, the sanctum is Skill essence. covered in slime. Oh. I don't get it. Strange couldn't just magic his way in? Arcane keys. Something about the whole alien thing. Interesting. There is a lot to explore there. But I want to get through as much as I can on this first day, so we're just going to head straight to the forge. Right? That explains just out of curiosity. Okay. Training. All right. Now, think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing. Mm -hmm. Yes, speaking of. Oh, right. It's ready. I always like the idea of magic. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps they've done that. Try it on. Right? Didn't Marvel do like Marvel 1887 or something like that? He was Iron Smithy. Ooh. Fancy. Still think I could have used a cloak. I would rather see it enhanced with the Iron Man armor shit. Damn near indestructible. I've never understood why it doesn't make that for friends. Not bad for our first collaboration. I still think it could have benefited from a cloak. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? Thanks, appreciate the effort. I don't like how we can only choose one. It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. I was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them, too. 
You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away. Hey, dialogue. Uh, uh, top to bottom. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. So it is a marvel, then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? I might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. <sighs> At least they did before everything changed. Gamma again. Gamma seems to be a recurring theme these days. Oh, you think I'm bad? You should ask Bruce. Actually, don't. He's been really sensitive since... You know what? Never mind. Okay. Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! But on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, magic cats. A black cat? Was it suspiciously elusive, even for a cat? Actually, yes. Thought I was going crazy there for a second, but clearly I'm still firing on all cylinders. It just poofed in next to me out in the yard. Small, black, furry. Cute little thing. Probably some kind of shape-shifting monster knowing this place. Huh. What sorts of things are you doing in here? Oh, that's right. You were out a while. Basically, we've got a gigantic demon inside the magic box here that provides near limitless power for whatever we might need. Sounds insane, but sometimes it's easier to just go with it. Seems a little dangerous. Does Caretaker approve of all this? As long as we follow all the rules and use the correct and complete incantations, I'm told everything will be fine and the demon won't break free and eat us all. Just don't get away. Or feed it after midnight. Gremlins! You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT trying to clear my head, and was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, Fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. That's a lot to deal with. I guess we have all had difficult childhoods here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't tell you how hard it was to memorize all that at Skrull Sleeper Camp. Just kidding. Or am I? Um, you must have an interesting... So can we... Or... So what happens... Oh, okay, it won't let you. Alright. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things. Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped-up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek, and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there, and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Alright, so the anvil. Ooh, that's neat. Interesting. Orb of Agamotto. Okay. I'm going to use the tech side. Like, I would love to see us. What is this? Okay. Anyways. To the forge! Or the anvil, I should say. Gamma coil now. Research level. Ooh. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye old demon hunting school, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. 
Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Dragon reference! Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Tony Stark can use the core material recovered in combat to cre create hero abilities. Only one of the abilities on offer can be selected, so wise. So we will get... Alright, well, so... So does this mean we're gonna get... It picks a hero at random, and we get a choice of three or... Oh, well, I guess if we'll this see. Thing behind me Let's see what we've got here. You're welcome, Hunter. So, okay. So, uh, it, it is three heroes. And... Of those three heroes, you'll get... Three random cards. All right, do we want to do... The, the, oh, if I left shift. Quick slash. I'm pretty sure Charlie left two the heels, coil two in the Third state of matter, indeed. Two strikes, okay. I guess this. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. You have gained a copy of a currently equipped ability. If you take take into the yard duplicate abilities, it can be combined into new, more powerful versions. Uh, and it was F. Wait, hold on. Heroes, blade. Oh, we can edit the deck. Heroes must have eight abilities equipped to their combat decks. So if we unequip this, oh, you can only have four attacks. Never mind. So confirm. Customization. Night Stalker. Link your 2K account at the yes. And Sun Challenge. Whoa! Whatever this ability is. Ooh, fits. fancy. And we can have them change daily automatically. Interesting. I want to see... Whoa! Leading Edge. Oh, it's not as shiny. All right. Future Supreme. Defenders. And Midnight Sun. Which is just... Darker? All right. Interesting. Wait a minute. Do I have a bathing suit? Oh, two P. Athletic, all the way. The armory room upgraded the forge. We can apply makeup. Interesting. Lipstick, no lipstick. Fascinating. Anyways. M for map? How oh, super link. It's like, how do I get to the super link? Messages. No message. I'm. I thought it 
it said Ileana added one there. I guess not. Maybe I was imagining. Alright. Let's go talk to Blade in the yard. We should be out here to our right. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? Uh, about you. I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. Of course she did. Everyone loves you when you are dead. Tell me, does that mean you are half loved? <laughs> oh! I didn't describe you as a snarky jackass, but here we are. Oops. All right, Tony Stark Jr., ask your questions. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. Do you have any thoughts on the team as a whole? I think we're the only ones aware of the danger Lilith poses to this world. And I think we're pretty green. But enough training will get us through it. Speaking of training, we doing this, or are we gonna keep wasting daylight? We train. I am ready to train. Finally. Alright, so interact- Oh no! The one we had! Alright. Upgrade abilities. Practice makes perfect. The hero possesses two copies of an ability. All right. Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong. So answer. we have three of these, so we can upgrade. Ah, but it does take training XP and attack as I think. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Useful against All right, then. bosses, though. Okay, and now we can talk to him? Sub. Can I ask about you? I guess. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes. Oh, I... Really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child the Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. So, is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? No, the Hunter, but I only share it with friends. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. All right, have you always... Okay. Yeah, we're just going to go down the list. How did you become a Dampier? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. How old are you? How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories. Almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly. But I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About ten years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. 
So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. Okay. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. Hmm. Why did you join? Again, we're just gonna go down the Vampire list. Vampire hunting is a solitary affair. Guess I never found the right team. You guys should have done this is that all? after the training. No, but that's all I'll share for now. You really want to know? Put in the work. If I trust you, I'll have more to say. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. And I will. I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? So... I don't know who Nico is. Tell me about Nico. She's the youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart, and that's why we let her. Who else? I'm glad I don't have to read this. What about Robbie? He's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. Spirit of vengeance? He's open with people. Easy going. Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. He's quick to make friends, and once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Anybody else? What do you know about magic? Keeps to herself. That is it? She's a private person. Until she lets you in, that's all you need to know. When does she let people in? At her own pace. Respect that, and it'll happen faster than you think. Anyone else? Someone feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't magic Ilyana Rasputin? The little sister of Colossus from X-Men? She's a mutant. That's how she gets her powers. And her her big brother, I believe, is Colossus, the guy who turns into poof, unstoppable metal. If you've seen the Deadpool movies, he's in those. Ah, interesting. I don't think we'll have the X-Men in this game. I don't think Marvel technically owns. Well, no. I don't know what is the deal with Marvel and X-Men. Tell me what you think of Sarah. Well, there are a few people I tolerate. Even less who I like. Sarah, I respect. She sees the big picture, and we're a part of it. I'd follow her to hell if I had to. And from what I understand, we may have to. I am surprised she commands such respect. I'm surprised that you're surprised. You know what she's like more than any of us. I do. Anyone else? Oh, that's it. Nobody else. Sure. And I should go. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.